Okay, good morning everyone and good morning all of my friends and my lecture. So today me and my friends will like to present you one of the food biotechnology or food fermentation which call as natto, which is a fermented soybean comes from Japan. Hi everyone, my name is Rizka Nermaulida. Hello, my name is Alicia Naomi Mashita. Hello, my name is Fauzia. And here are some outlines that we will talk today. The first one is about description, and then type, and then history, characteristic, nutrient content, benefits, process and fermentation, the control parameters, and also the prospects of Minato. So, let's get started! Okay, let's get into the description of natto. What is natto? In the 90s, the commercial natto or Japanese fermented soybean is packaged in the rice straw packaging. As you can see in the very left picture, this is so quite traditional. But now, you can easily get natto from any kind of market in Japan, including supermarket or convenience stores and also traditional market. So, natto is a fermented food made from soybeans with the help of Bacillus subtilis bacteria based on the experimental of Oe et al. at 2001. And this food originally comes from Japan, all of my friends. This food is very healthy and popular in the society of Japanese. Natto is usually eaten as a breakfast meal for Japanese. Natto has sticky texture as you can see in the picture here and the certain odd smell which can make people like it or dislike it. We can eat natto together with Japanese special sauce, mustard, and also with rice. Natto is widely sold in supermarket with only 100 yen or 14,000 rupiah. And here are the type of natto. There is two kinds of natto. The first one is non-salted natto called as itahiki natto. And then the second one is salted natto or hama natto. But most of Japanese often to eat itahiki natto more. And hama natto has the texture of less sticky. It is also more dry and has a darkish and darker color than the itahiki natto. Let's talk about the history of natto. The first one is uh, at 151, uh, natto was discovered uh, by Minamoto. Accidentally, 1894, Dr. Yabe isolated one bacillus and three micrococi, but he is not sure which has a role at natto fermentation. Um, in 1906, Sawamura was discovered um, Nazirus natto in natto fermentation. At 1919, uh, Dr. Jun Hanzawa made a pure inoculum culture for natto fermentation and it becomes a commercial manufacturer of natto. In 1980, Dr. Hiroyuki was discovered Natto kinase that has raw and natto fermentation to make a good natto. Vitamin K1 is found in natto by Kineki um, and that vitamin has a role uh, to reduce the fracture of Japanese women. Let's talk about the characteristic of natto. The color of natto is brownish yellow and dark brown color and then the texture of natto it's slimy and sticky because um, natto kinase and then the smell and the taste it's like uh, all cheese so here you can see the nutrient content of natto as we can see natto is a great source of protein and also fibers Natto was contained out of calorie, protein, carbohydrate, vitamins, and also total fat. The total calorie that natto contains is up to 1,500 kilojoules, while protein up to 31 gram, 
carbohydrate up to 25.1 gram and vitamins up to 100 milligrams and total fat up to 19.3 grams. There are a lot of benefits by consuming natto. The first one is to prevent cholesterol because the lecithin that contained in soybean is able to increase the production of high density lipoprotein or we call it as a good cholesterol. So it can maintain the cholesterols in our body and our blood. While the second benefit is balancing body hormone, a substance that we call as isoflavones in soybeans can help in the regulation of hormone release by activate female hormone estrogen which also prevent aging or become an anti-aging substance. The third benefit of natto is to serve a good intestinal condition because natto yeast acidifies the intestinal environment and optimizing it to good intestinal bacteria growth. And then the last one is to strengthen the bones. That we know soybeans also contain a lot of vitamins, including vitamins K, which can help to strengthen the bones by assisting in bone formation and also preventing calcium from being leached out of the bones. Hello everyone, now I will be talking about processing technology, how to make a good natto. So here is the natto production flow diagram. Our main material is soybean that is already cleaned and washed and weighed, then soaked for 20 hours, then drained out of water and moisture, and placed in a sterile steel plate. Then we cook the soybean in high pressured sterilizing pot for 121 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. Then we cool down to an indoor temperature. After the soybeans are cooling down, we add 11% of seed solution or pure bread natobacteria or what we know as Bacillus subtilis. Then we mix them until homogeneous and cover the moisture gauze. Then we put them into constant temperature and humidify in incubator for 13 hours with temperature of 37 degrees Celsius. After 13 hours, we take out the pre-ripening natto and conduct a post-ripeness at 4 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. Then after 24 hours, we have our natto. The fermentation system that we use is a controlled fermentation. Mostly controlled fermentation have a material that is already heat treated. Then soybeans, for example, are boiled for 30 minutes before fermentation. This is to eliminate all the contaminants and all the unwanted bacteria before we start the fermentation. Then natto is inoculated with pure culture of natto kinase producing microbes, or what we call Bacillus subtilis. Why pure culture? This is to minimize the um, contamination that might be caused by another presence of bacteria and we want to optimize the growth of especially this bacillus subtilis. The incubation conditions are also set for optimum microbial growth so we can achieve uh, a production with large volumes and predictable characteristics. We also will have less chance of product failure and foodborne disease. So, controlled fermentation is commonly used in industry. Here are the pictures of the bioreactor and the packaging machine and of course the storage and compartment for natto that is already produced. As you can see on the left, is the bioreactor that we use for fermentation and on the right is the packaging machine the blue racks is the the one that we use for storage natto for post ripeness um, phase next up is the production video of natto produced at kamakurayama natto company
トの作り方ですが、えー、大豆は、えー、国産大豆を中心に、えー、大粒や小粒、えー、何種類も使っていますでまずはじめに大豆を洗います、えー、水でよく洗った大豆を、えー、その後、えー、一晩、えー、水につけておきます一晩水につけておくことで大豆の重さは2倍ぐらいになりますその2倍ぐらいになった大豆を今度は蒸気で蒸していきます、えー、蒸す時間はだいたい1時間ぐらい、えー、温度にしたら120度ぐらいで1時間蒸しますその後で納豆菌を煮豆にかけますで煮豆にかけてその後、えー、数分間大豆に納豆菌がなじむのを待ってから、えーパッケージに小分けするラインの方に豆を運んでそこでまださらさらしたお豆の状態でパッケージに入れていきます鎌倉山納豆で使っている大豆は 40% が国産の国粒大豆ですあと 30% がアメリカ産の極国粒大豆になりますその他 15% が宮城県産の大粒、そして残りの 15% が宮城県産の引き割りになります。国産だけでなくアメリカの大豆もとても美味しく納豆に作ることができます。1日の製造量はだいたい1万2000個から1万5000個、最大一番たくさん作って2万食ほど作ることができます。ここは発酵室で先ほど蒸した大豆に納豆菌をかけましたそれをパッケージに小分けして小分けした状態で発酵室に入れますここで18時間ほど、えー、温度を40度ぐらいで保ちまして置いておくことにより納豆菌が繁殖して美味しい納豆になりますこれが今日発酵室に入る納豆でまだ納豆になっておりませんでこちらが昨日発酵室に入ったもので18時間以上発酵室に置いて発酵させた納豆ですこのように見た目でも白く粉が吹いてきて明らかに変わってきます大豆が納豆に発酵することによって体にいい成分が大豆よりも増えることがありますその中の一つがビタミン K これは骨を強くするビタミンと言われていますあとはナットキナーゼという酵素がありまして、ナットキナーゼは、えー、血管の血液の流れを良くする働きがあると言われています。この後、また、えー、だいたい2日ぐらい低温熟成といって、冷蔵庫の中で納豆を寝かしておきます。その間に、えー、納豆菌の旨味成分がどんどん増えてきて、美味しい納豆が出来上がります。First one is raw material. Yeah, we, we use a small soybeans to make、uh, more sticky and more delicious. And then we use sterile tools to prevent the invasion of pathogen that can inhibit、uh, Bacillus natto to do the fermentation. Yeah, the second is process condition. It's really important to make a good quality natto, of course.、Um, yeah, the bacillus natto is、um, n e e d oxygen to do the fermentation, and so we should give them adequate oxygen.、Uh, and then、uh, the dosage is important too when we want to make a 800 g r a m of natto. We need one spoon of natto powder. Yes, this, that's the example. And then, time and temperature to do the fermentation it's, it's really important too. <laughs>、um, the temperature is about 38 degrees Celsius until 42 degrees Celsius. And then, The time is about 16 until 20 hours. Last one is final product.、Uh, when we want to do the maturation of natto, we need、um, 5 degrees Celsius to put the battery in the s And the packaging of natto is usually from styrofoam or a cup. Or cup to keep、uh, its quality, and then、uh, natto is placed in, in 
at 5 degrees Celsius to do, to prevent bacteria redo the fermentation. So, the last, we will talk about the prospect that we can make out of natto in the future. The first one is we can develop natto to be nutraceutical or also supplement to prevent tumor and also aging. This is because natto has a lot of vitamins and also isoflavones that it contains. And these can be an anti-aging and also an anti-tumor substance. The second one is natto can be developed into variation of food. The example is we can make an ice cream out of natto extract and natto can be used for sushi filler to eat with our sushi or also with our rice the third one is natto can be developed in indonesia because we know that indonesian people is quite familiar with tempeh which also a soybean fermented product so natto and tempeh is quite similar and come from the same material so it means that natto will be easily accepted in Indonesia. And then the last or the fourth prospect of natto in the future, it has a really big global market potential. Based on report buyer from London, natto has uh, outgrow and will outgrow the market in the 2019 until 2023. So that means today and now is the best time for us to develop natto as a product in Indonesia or in the world. So the conclusion of our discussion today, our natto is a fermented soybean from Japan that has a slimy and sticky texture and then when we want to do make a natto, we must use sterile tools and uh, use a good raw materials. And then, um, natto has a lot of benefits for our body, such as anti-aging, anti-tumor, and then um, natto has a lot of vitamin, including vitamin K, that has a role to make our bone stronger. And here are some preferences that we use for this presentation. Thank you for watching. See you, See you next time. Bye-bye.